So then I moved on to PlayStation. I started working for PlayStation for like three years. And that was where I kind of created my, the biggest impact that I could and get to know the, the, the game developers all over the world. Because we tried to create these opportunities for the indie game developers. By indie, I mean independent. Okay. These in, indie devs needed access to the, the bigger market just to understand what's happening, what are the latest trends, what are the latest development techniques that I don't have access to sitting as a, as a young bedroom game developer in Saudi. Mm. So uh, we attracted that kind of uh, talent. We attracted those kinds of people. And you built those connections. By that time, like those people that I was reading about in magazines are now my peers, are now my friends. Like there are people that consider me as part of the games industry. That's mm. crazy. And that's, that's honestly what, crazy. Like, yeah, that was crazy. I keep <laughs> pinching myself about that. Like uh, there's a lot of people right now that are like championing what we're doing in Saudi. And uh, this goes to Neom as well. Neom's credit. Neom's still fresh in this. So you guys still, are not, you're not making major announcements anytime soon. Not yet. Uh, things are uh, progressing, but uh, stay tuned, I would say. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Here's honestly, a teaser. Right? Honestly, like just thinking of Neom and thinking of the possibility of what can happen in the gaming industry, I can't wait to, to see what, what happens. It's amazing stuff, man. The best game developers in the Middle East are from Saudi. And this is something that we see regularly when you go to, um, there are these events that happen in Jordan. Mm. Like There came a time that Saudi wasn't doing these kinds of events. So you have these game development competitions, the Saudis go there and they sweep the awards all the time. I'm not surprised. Nice. They, sweep, they keep sweeping the awards. Let's man. go! We have, the biggest, we have the biggest market in the region. We do. And we do have like some of the most invest globally, even on a global level, we have world champions of FIFA. And, exactly. And we have competitors in all the other, like, you know, big gaming e-competitions. Exactly. So I'm, I'm not surprised at all. So that's now the, the, the plan really is to take Saudi from becoming the, one of the biggest game producers to uh, game, I mean, game consumers to game producers. Okay. From so, gamers to creators. Exactly. That's the biggest plan right now, you know, in terms of um, talent development, in terms of uh, other means in order to create that talent pipeline that would feed into the ecosystem and keep generating new talents, generating new products, generating new companies. Uh, and then all boats will will rise in the end. You know, like this is going to be a huge contributor to the economy. Uh, if you're talking 2030, this is where we should be playing. It's a 170 billion dollar market, and you don't ignore a 170 billion dollar market. Yeah. If you don't. And right now we're we, we just barely crack the top 20 gaming economies. We're oh, number whoa. 21 right now. In the sense of consumption, in terms of uh, overall revenues uh, generated within the jurisdiction. Okay. So you've got uh, all these like major, major gaming markets, Germany, you've got like the US, China, Korea, huge, huge gaming markets that have had years of ecosystem development that have had years of government subsidies, years of talent development, and so many levers support in, in place just to allow them to grow. Mm. And now this is what we're looking at. This is what we're seeing. Saudi finds itself in the same position. We're in the same position that Korea was, for example, like 20 years ago when they were creating their uh, media market. If you look at uh, like uh, products like Parasite and stuff like that, mm. uh, that's a product of, of the, the output that uh, the government generated from the early outset. And now Saudi is doing the same thing with Vision 2030. So it's the right time. And uh, you can bet that like a decade from now or a couple of decades, we're going to have some of the biggest game developers in the world operating out of Saudi Arabia. 